Hello everybody and welcome back to more Diffraction, the demo. We are back for in this game again with this demo because the last time we left off, as you guys, if you guys remembered, we had just finished our quote unquote first route or first playthrough of the demo, the possibility of one um, endings that we got, we could get in the game. And it's with uh, mainly focus on Hen, the character that we are currently we have currently bumped into and met at the job fair and broke his phone by accident. So I kind of so the, my first playthrough was leading was more towards his story and our interactions with him, one of the two guys. But this time, of course, we are here again in the job at the job fair after bumping into uh, Hen uh, because. Consequently, it's because we've seen our childhood friend, supposedly, Fain, in the distance. So that's why we broke off running or crashed, weren't paying attention and we crashed into Hen. So yeah, um, this, well, just to quickly recap in terms of where we left off with Hen at the end of the demo route, in his route, we we were on the cusp of finding out what that we were kind of roped into this whole like collab thing. We find out he's this really like big influencer online and he sort of said it off offhand. He tried to brush it off even when we asked him more details on it. And then we had the option of either kind of blackmailing him in a way or, or just kind of letting it go as well because he's just like, you know, pretend you don't know anything, pretend that I, you know, you have no idea what it is that... Because one of his friends was the one who kind of ran into us at the convenience store when we were about to start our job, which I think was heavily implied that Fane also worked there as well too, so... Uh, yeah, so at the convenience store, we ran into one of Hens' friend, and Hens' friend is just like spewing all about the, oh, the collab, oh, yeah, the, the person who he's working the collab with, blah, 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 and we're like, uh, what? So yeah, so we pulled, or Hen pulled us aside after we confronted him, and then, yeah, so if we chose to go along with what he said in terms of forgetting what what his friend said and also pretending and also not knowing what was going on with the collab thing, he sort of takes like it as like a good character on us sort of thing like a, like oh like you're you know you're you're a good person in a way and that you uh, you don't really like you're not invasive or you're not trying to like get any favors from him sort of thing but there was another option where we could have set we could have blackmailed him again into like getting us in on this like this potential gig and he just did of course did not take it well because you know it's also implied at, from his response that you know he was he may have been the type of guy who because of his influence and his status he's been like obviously used before to get either clout or whatever what have you Anyways, that's probably more for us to find out in the full game, but that's what's heavily implied. And that was one of the two possibilities in terms of ending ending things off with Hens' um, interactions and his route. So here we are, uh, now back to here, back to here, where we can have the option to divert paths. And so this time, ob the obvious choice here is to lean more towards Fane. So we're going to find out more about Fane and our relations to him. So, I'm going to choose um, to apologize then run after fame because this is again just to come back to this. We bumped, we've just bumped into Hen and I think knocked all of his shit down. I think, but we're just now or no, I think we stepped on his phone. I think we stepped on his phone. I think, and then we could either choose to ignore it or just choose to like attempt to make amends right then and there but no so getting started right now off we go let's let's run after fane let's go let's chase after him Ugh, i can't deal with this now i need to find fane yes looking up from the cracked phone i catch the stranger's gaze and hesitate for a moment it's no good i don't have time for this at least we tried to at least we apologize i'm not gonna like immediately run off and not say anything i'm sorry i have to go I'll come back later. Yes. Without looking for a response, I quickly turn to run after Fane once again. Hopefully that doesn't mean that we've stalled. 
Barely evading a few more startled passerbys, I made my way towards the place where I'd last spotted him, occasionally catching a glimpse of light blue hair. Okay, so we're st we he's still in our line of sight. I ended up finding myself just outside of the venue exit. Ha, ha, how hard is he? How is he so hard to catch? He's a very fast walker. I don't even remember him being athletic at all. Despite the fact that I had been running, he seemed to have already vanished in the direction to the, of the park. Okay. Finally. Wait, where did he go? Oh, the park appears to be empty. Oh no. Or it's, so it seems. Oh, okay. God. Thank God. Fane. Oh my god, Fane. Until I spot movement beneath a wooden picnic table as what seems to be a, a head peeks out over the bench. Why are you hiding from me? Okay, so... Because we pursued Hen in the first playthrough, I just need to catch you guys up on this. Um, we didn't really talk much or interact much with Fane. The only times we kind of did run into him was the last bit of the demo where we 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 ca we run into each other at the park. Because on I think on our way to work, I think, and we see him taking photos there and we we called out to him and we had a like this really short conversation short in a way where it's, it actually was really short and also in a way where he didn't seem all too happy talking to us like he didn't seem to either to a remember us being friends in the past and b seeming to like kind of come off really guarded like like we're we're stalk we're like a stalker almost but we're not we're just like i thought you know we were friends in the past so we could have caught up or something but no he was very guarded so we don't know what the hell is up with that so i guess we'll find out more here because clearly he he seems to either know us but just avoid us is just avoiding us or not know us and just again think that we are like a complete stalker <laughs> our eyes meet for just a moment fane what are you doing under there silly get out of there i know you're under oh the boy startles. A short thump could be heard as his head met the out underside of the table, wobbling it slightly. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Wow. Clasping his head, he seemed to flinch for a moment before attempting to clumsily scramble out from under the table. What was he even doing down there? Yeah, what are you is he trying to hide? Yeah, why? Are you okay? Maybe I should go to help him, give him some space. Uh, well, he was trying to hide, though. That's the thing. I don't want to... Okay, we can we can try to seem friendly and help him. Like Fane, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not weird. Okay, I'm not a weirdo. I just, I just thought we were friends, and since we were friends in the past, we, you know, we we talk or something. I would go help him. Carefully, I make my way around the table. Perhaps he needs help, but seemingly in response to my advance, the boy hastens to scramble to get to his feet. Oh, I'm fine. Uh. There's an unexpected level of coldness to his tone. Yeah, see, he's very, like, distant. Could I have made a mistake? No, I'm sure it has to be him. He even reacted when I said his name. You are Fane, right? That's me. So, with his hands and knees covered in dirt, he now stands upright. An uncharacteristically wary look on his face. Yes. Well, that's direct. I... I really should have thought of something to say before speaking to him. Maybe he just doesn't know who I am after all these years. Yeah, seems like it. Uh, do you remember me? Fane seems to tense up further at my question, and for a moment, it looks like he- It looks like he'll answer me. Yes? No? But instead, he continues to avoid my gaze as he fiddles nervously with the camera hanging from his neck. So it's a yes, I think. Well, this isn't awkward at all. It's a yes, but he's trying to hide it. It's me, Hana. You know, that person you met at photography camp that one summer? Oh, it's photography camp. We spent the week paired up. Not even a flicker of emotion or recognition appears with my words. What do you want? Why so cold? Damn, what happened? I, did we like leave on bad terms and I just don't remember it? Actually, what do I even want? I scrambled through a crowd for him, so... What now? Oh, laugh it off and make something up. Be honest, you don't know what you want. I'm gonna be honest. 
because like what's the point of like try to make something up when you can't really commit to it i don't think i'm a very good improviser either at, in this universe <laughs> yeah i'll be honest honestly i'm not really sure i just saw you and then well i just kind of ran after you without thinking i guess he seems to study me carefully as I speak. I've been out of town for a while and I don't really know anyone here anymore, so I guess I thought it might be nice to talk to you again. But it's okay if you don't want to. Yeah, see, we're being honest. Because he seems, yeah, again, he seems very guarded. Like, I don't know why he seems so suspicious of us. Like, what, what did we do? Though his posture remains tense, something seems to give way in his expression as he looks away once more, his mouth remaining closed in a thin line. It's not that I don't want to. Okay, I just... He looked down at his camera nervously for a moment. Maybe he's feeling shy? If you don't want to talk right now, how about giving me your social media? Or I guess I could give you mine. He looks back up at me carefully. You don't want to message me or any... You don't need to message me or anything. I probably won't really have the time to talk much anyway. It'd just be nice to not lose contact again, you know? Well, I guess this probably seems kind of weird to you since you don't remember at all. You don't remember at all. What am I even saying at this point? I barely have time for myself, let alone for reviving forgotten friendships. He looks at me thoughtfully. Before beginning to search his pockets and clumsily digging out a rather beat up looking smartphone. Oh, he's doing it. He takes a minute to search for something. Finally, he points the screen at me, a profile page open. Here, I don't know how to do this. Oh, it's fine. Ah, uh, just a sec. Digging out my own phone, I know his profile name. Fane, 6350151? Okay. Right, got it, thanks. He hesitantly pockets the phone again, continuing to awkwardly stare at me for a bit before finally muttering. I'm late for work. Oh, okay. Fane raises a single stiff hand in what can only be assumed to be a greeting gesture of sorts. Okay, okay. Bye. <laughs> okay. And without another word, he scrambles off toward the par the other park entrance. Okay, what was that? Huh, well, whatever that was, it certainly wasn't that- wasn't the feign I remember. I guess I have his account now though, might as well take a peek. Yes! Let's Instagram stalk. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. Feign 63501. Yes. Ooh, oh, he's offline. Maybe his profile will tell me why he's being so weird. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh. Oh, I never knew we could do this. Ew. That's cool. Oh, well, okay. I follow? <laughs> I can't click on that anyways, but anyways, very beautiful. He's into, oh, he's into photography too. Pet parent, lol. Okay. Well. Uh, five followers and one post. How does he only have one post? Well, you know, maybe he had one. Oh, uh, the thing does it for me. It's even from three, three years ago. Wow. And it has 75,000 likes. Whoa. It has 75,000 likes? Oh my god. Wait, what is this? How? The numbers are still there no matter how much I look at the post. This makes no sense. He might have just reposted something, right? Dumbfounded, I can do little more than continue to stare blankly at the screen. What am I missing? The sound of my own stomach growling derails my thoughts. Oh. Well, it's late. I can think about this later. Yeah, exactly. At least you have his Instagram. I should probably get home before it starts raining anyways. Mom's not going to be happy if I'm late either. Okay, I should... I forgot the phone guy. Go back and look for him. It's been a long day. Let's go home. I don't think he would be there anymore, no? I think it would It would kind of work out the same way... Um, the same way... Or maybe... Uh, I don't know. Would it work out the same way that we did when we chased... When we were with Hen and then we decided to try to go back? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, would it would it also work out in a way where we 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 go back, we can't find him, and then we go look at the gallery? Mm -hmm. Let's try that. I'd only taken a few steps in the direction of home. 
when all of a sudden I when all of a sudden a thought flashed back into my mind. Yes. What? Uh, wait. Ah, crap, I totally forgot about him. Yeah, I completely ditched him back there. What was I even thinking? Well, an avalanche of conflicting thoughts hit me. Should I go back for him? Would he even still be there this late? How would he react if I did find him? Surely he would be angry at me for running away like that, right? Never mind that would never mind that it would be super awkward if I ran into him again after this. As I continued to mull the issue over, I couldn't help but cringe internally at the thought of that. Okay, okay, calm down and think. Okay. If I remember right, the job fair is still open for a bit for the evening events, so he might still be there? He might still be there? And I should probably at least try to do the right thing, shouldn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Just as I contem just as I am contemplating this, I feel a cold drop of rain hit my cheek. Oh yeah, it's rain. Rain. It rains. Okay. Soon a flurry of heavy raindrops follow. Oh. Please. Looking up, I find that the sky above has taken on a foreboding shade of grey. I mean <laughs> Ugh, fine. I so don't have the time for this. But I also don't think I can just go home after remembering this. And so without wasting another moment, I begin running through the rain, back towards the building where the job fair is being held. Okay. We run, we run, we run. Ha, ha, yes. Okay. Uh, it's not letting me skip, surprisingly enough. Like, interesting. I pause to catch my breath. I should really stop neglecting my workout routine. Ugh, and my clothes feel all damp from the rain. Okay, focus, focus. Having caught my breath, I pull myself up, scanning the space ahead for the man with the broken phone. The venue is fairly empty at this point, so I can easily see across the expanse of the hall. However, hmm, I can't see him here. Could he have left already? Yeah. Well, he was kind of flashy looking, I guess I could. I guess I could. Catching sight of a nearby unoccupied booth, I wander over. Excuse me. I catch a woman's attention. Oh, we're asking people. How can I help you? Well, um, I was looking for someone and I was wondering if maybe you saw him? He was tall, now that I think about it, and kind of handsome. <laughs> Describe hair, eyes, and clothes. Describe the situation in which you encountered him since it drew attention. I don't know if she would be there for- th Oh, no. The wrong button. Wrong button. Wait, hold on. Are you sure? No. No. I'm not sure. I need to save. Where do I save again? Oh god. <laughs> I'm so blind. I'm so sorry. That was really dumb of me. Um, I'm just gonna describe hair clothes because we're supposed to be focusing on getting to know Fane and following his story. He had brown black hair. Um, maybe brown black eyes. He's very br normal looking for the most part. Like nothing too crazy. A brown black jacket. Uh, the look the woman is giving me doesn't seem to be inspiring any confidence. I think he was also, uh, tall? Suddenly, I am interrupted as a voice speaks up behind me. <gasps> Is he here? He was tall, dashing, handsome. I could fall in love. Actually, I already have. Who in the hell? What? Wow. What? I turn to find the exact man I was looking for staring down at me. No way he's here. What? Uh, and he's tall. <laughs> I love how he describes himself as that. Ah, uh, where did he come from? Bro. What? Did he just wink at me? <laughs> Excuse me? I open my mouth to speak, but he cuts me off. Unfortunately, I've committed a terrible sin, huh? He goes on, raising his hands and speaking as though reciting a dramatic tale. Yes, how could a girl like me, who smashes some smashes someone's custom engraved $5,000 phone beyond repair and then runs away? ever be considered worthy of someone so perfect. <laughs> what is happening? I should probably beg for his forgiveness. I hope that he might have a bit more integrity than I do. Uh, dude. His tone might be mistaken for playful joking under different circumstances. However, the pointed stare he, he directs at me tells an entirely different story. Hey, it's not like I meant to do that. He smiles at me. It is absolutely not reassuring. At least I came back looking for you. Like, hello? For a moment, an awkward silence follows. Um... I awkwardly make eye contact with the woman who I'd asked help for. 
She continues to smile at me, but it's clearly uncomfortable. I mean, you can go, yeah. <laughs> Ugh, this is so awkward. We should probably continue this in private. Well, it looks like I found him. Th thanks. <laughs> yeah, bye. Without another word, I quickly turned to leave, soon hearing his footsteps follow behind me. I a glance back has him smiling and shrugging at me, as though what just happened wasn't entirely his doing. He's kind of staring... He's kind of starting to irritate me. <laughs> uh, a safe distance away from prying ears, I come to a stop, as does he. It doesn't look like he's going to start this conversation, so I guess I will. You realize I was there looking for you, right? Yeah, I was nice enough to come back. I turn to face him. He looks back at me innocently. So? Uh, so, I really don't think you had to go and make a scene like that. It was totally uncalled for. Huh. He raises an eyebrow at me skeptically, clearly unimpressed with, what, with that response. Okay, I deserved this since I did run and abandon him like that, but still. Ugh, okay. This is clearly getting me nowhere. Okay, fine. I came back to apologize about your phone, so I'm sorry about that. And running off afterwards. I'd like to make it up to you somehow. Hmm? And how are you going to do that? How am I going to do that? I hadn't actually thought that far ahead. Me neither. I didn't even expect him to be here. <laughs> Maybe I can tell him I'll pay for I'll pay him for it when I get more money. Just as I'm about to tell him that however, I pause as I remember his earlier words. Yes, five thousand dollars, girl. You just have five thousand dollars just lying around? That's your student debt. I look up to find him smiling at me as though he somehow read my mind. Ah, I did say that it was worth $5,000, didn't I? Brand new, customized, engraved. I almost forgot to mention that. I almost forgot to mention all that work I probably lost by not being able to access my email. I'd love to know what you have in mind. I, um... Uh... I, you don't know how to make it up to him, but you want to try. Tell him you'll pay him when you have money. You don't know, you will. Uh, tell him to get lost. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Okay, we gotta do some tacti tactical... Uh, something diplomatic to say. You don't know how to make it up to him, but you want... Yeah, I don't know how to make it up to you, but I want to try. It's the thought that counts. I, I don't... No, I don't actually know what I can do. But I want to try. I'm genuine about it. Hmm. He makes a show of tapping his chin, humming all the while. Luckily for you, I am not only handsome, but also quite merciful. <laughs> I'm sure we'll think of something. Okay, uh. Well, looks like I've got to get going now. Okay, I'll be in touch. Wait, but how would you contact me? I have my methods. Okay. He has his methods? His PR team. <laughs> what does that mean? Before I can ask, he's already turned to leave, giving me a small wave. Possibly his lawyer. I don't know. Uh, okay then, I guess. <laughs> uh, thoroughly confused, I stand around for a good few moments, watching him wander off until... Ah, crap! What am I doing just standing here? I quickly wrestle my phone from my pocket to check the time. I knew it. It's already 6.30 p.m. I'm totally going to be late now. Well, it's not that late. Come on. I quickly begin making my way towards the nearest exit. Dad won't be happy if I'm late for dinner again. I should probably move faster. Okay. And so I did, making my way home. Okay, interesting. Okay. Okay, oh, now it's letting me skip. Okay, so we're going to skip on that, and then we'll see where it takes us. Oh, okay, there we go. So we, um, we talked to our dad, we excused ourselves to go to bed, and then we're super tired, so... And then we're now we're just, I guess, her sharing our thoughts about meeting Fane again. I still can't believe that was Fane. He acted so different compared to what I remember. Not to mention the hair. And the camera. I thought he barely used phone cameras before, but the only- but the one he had was actually a good one. Speaking of which, speaking of which, Mr. Dashing and Handsome. More like Mr. Self-Flattery. Sure, I broke his phone and left, but he could have just discussed it normally with me. I don't want to even know what his methods are. Let's just hope I never see him again. Well, <laughs> yawn. Okay, now we go to sleep. Okay, we can, we can skip on that. 
What was that? Mm. When did I fall asleep? Whoa. And I'm still wearing my clothes from the dropper, yes. I must have just passed out. Ugh, despite the fact that I've slept, I find myself feeling unusually groggy. Oh, okay, we can skip? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, we keep hearing our f What was that noise? We keep hearing that go off. Was that our phone? Huh? Our notification? Did I forget to mute notifications? Oh my god, I bet it's Hen. Not like I've been getting that many- Not that I've been getting that many lately. I reach into my jacket pocket, pulling out my phone. Let's see. Uh, it's only 7 a.m. Oh, we woke up kind of, kind of early, cause last time we woke up at 10. Oh my god, the, the, the scandal. Waking up at 10 instead of 7. Oh right, I should probably hit the follow button before I forget. Probably send Fane a quick message too. Oh yeah, we did get Fane stuff. Yeah, I remember. Oh, oh yeah. Hi Fane, this is Hana from yesterday. I hope we can chat sometime. Yeah, you know. Hello. There we go. Looks like I have a few direct messages myself. Okay. Okay, okay, hang on. Jesus. Let's see here. Messages from... Hmm, I don't recognize that icon or username. They even have Bay in their username. That'd be embarrassing to say out loud, but kind of cute. Bay. Hen Bay. Oh, oh, there he is. There's Mr. Self Flattery himself. Oh, good morning, Hana. What is with the emojis? <laughs> oh, goodness. Hmm, maybe you're still asleep? I hope you haven't forgotten about yesterday. You know, about how you broke my $5,000 phone and ran away. <laughs> fucking guy. Fucking guy, he irritates me. Oh my goodness, okay. Never mind, this isn't cute. What is this? It looks like a troll message. I know, right? <laughs> Jesus. Wait. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, what? Are you, are you on his profile? Oh, the message, the message says broken $5,000 phone. Yes, that's... Hello, girl. Wake up. It's Mr. Mr. Henbei. Mr. Mr. I broke. You broke my five thousand dollar phone. This can only be the guy from yesterday, right? Away. Calm down. I should check this. I should check out his profile just to be sure this is really him. This is really him first. Yes. Let's do that. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's that picture again. <laughs> this is obligatory. Gym picture, God. You are not obliged, you're trash. <laughs> no one made you. God, look at that. Got new rings, do it look good? I, fashion fiend. The hen bay has blessed these hen babes. Oh my God. Shocking. Christ. Who this? We're perfect. Oh, okay, maybe more influencer friends. I don't know, but freaking. <laughs> Can I click on the link? No? Okay. Ah, she clicked on it anyways! <laughs> yeah, that's definitely him. <laughs> of course. Of course he would take an obligatory selfie, like gym selfie. Uh, okay, it's his- if it's his dashing and handsome personality, that's for sure. And he has- he has quite the followers, yes. How many followers? Yes, 1.2 million followers. I- I must be still- I must still be dreaming. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. I really wish I was dreaming. Judging by the engagement, those followers are quite real. But how did he find me? He even knew my name and everything. Again, probably his PR team. I- it didn't seem like he knew who I was yesterday. And it's not like I'm big enough to- I'm big enough on socials for people to recognize me. Especially in small towns like this. But ignoring how he did it... This is bad. Really bad. This guy has a lot of pull on the internet. Even a casual post about what happened could have could have his fan base after me. Oh no. <laughs> At least it looks like he hasn't posted anything yet. That's what he means by... Um, what's... The, the way he th he kind of low-key threatened us at the end of his his route like the episode when we were finished with his route quote unquote his route how he was like oh yeah you know this isn't the last you'll see of me and you're gonna regret that you actually said that to me it's like oh shit okay i should probably respond before he starts considering it though okay okay hello <laughs> okay think what what do you want what do you want i just literally i literally could like just open my eyes man i still got I still got- Oh, I got a text! I, I still got the eye crust around my eyes still. I haven't even rinsed it out yet. Jesus. 
Ask how he found you first. Just get to the point and ask what he wants from you. Pretend you don't know what he's talking about. I'm pretty sure he's not going to tell us how he found us. He's going to be like, see, I told you. I said I have my ways. And then he's going to leave it at that. He's very mysterious and and what's it? aloof like that. Okay, just get to the point. Okay, so what do you want? Yeah, straight to the point. What do you want? Jeez, no fun at all. <laughs> anyway, I said yesterday, well, I said yesterday, we'll think of something, and I have. Okay. Gas, what a dream boat. <laughs> Hannah, you're right. He's really starting to irritate me, too. He's a little irritating. Drop dead gorgeous and willing to help me out when I don't deserve it at all. <laughs> or so I hear you say, no. Is this- is all this self-flattery really necessary? But save your admiration for our meeting at the Tulip Cafe in an hour. It's so weird, isn't it? Uh, what? Wait, what? What? I wouldn't be- I wouldn't leave me waiting if I were you. <laughs> oh my god. Are you serious? You want me to meet you at Tulip Cafe? Where the hell is he- where the hell is that? Bingo! Okay. What happens if I don't show up? Alright, I'll go. Uh, what are we doing there? Well, like, we can't really say what happens if we don't show up because we, again, we're kind of in debt to him. We broke his $5,000 phone. And this is, obviously, we need, we said that we would make it up to him somehow, some way. Uh, what are we doing there? We just gotta chat? I should make sure it's nothing weird, yes. But what are we doing there? Yes? And ruin the surprise? Oh my goodness. Blasphemy. <laughs> Heresy. Heresy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, see you there. <laughs> He's so dramatic. Well, that was pointless. But maybe I should go along with it just to be safe. Yeah. Yeah, not like I got anything going on today. <laughs> if I remember right, Tulip Cafe wasn't much more than 20 minutes away from here. Yeah. I haven't been there since I left for the city, but I should still know that area well enough. And it's not like I had much planned today anyways. Yeah, exactly. That's what I- that's what my thought is. Guess I might as well go. I send back a quick confirmation and tuck my phone away. Fine, I'll be there. Okay, happy? Yes? Alright. I kind of did break his phone too. I- I at least owe him this much, probably. Yes, that's what I thought. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. I'll have some breakfast first before I leave- before I leave though, okay. Ugh, mom and dad also wanted to talk about the job fair today. I completely forgot. Well, I guess I'll just get ready to go out for now. Let's start by getting out of bed. Yes. Okie dokes. Oh, breakfast at the kitchen table used to be more of- Oh, are they not gonna let me skip that? Oh, yeah, this used to be more of a family affair until dad started working earlier shifts and mom later shifts. Since I've been back, it's usually just mom and me. I wonder if dad left out any bre any of the breakfast. Oh, oh, it's dad! Dad this time. Well, last time we, we encountered mom. As I walk in, I find dad sitting at a uh, sitting at a still partially decked table, a selection of crosswood puzzles in front of him. Oh, that's so cute. He catches sight of me, but is clearly unused to my presence. Well, someone's up early. Did you have trouble sleeping? No, I just kind of woke up because my phone was going off. Looking at the table, I find that he's left some orange juice, toast, and butter out for me. Milk is in the fridge if you want some. I had to put most of it away since I didn't think I'd have a celebrity guest today. <sighs> Ever the comedian. I have to go out in a little bit is why I'm up. Huh, that's quite unusual. I head for the fridge to remove the carton of milk. I could say the same about him, right? I didn't expect to see you here either. I'm kind of surprised he's still here at this hour. Aren't you usually fixing the problem of the day at the community center by n by now? Actually, I'm going to check the pipes at your old high school old high school today. The vice principal called me saying there was a strange rattle, but I thought I heard you wake up, so I was hoping we could still have breakfast together. Aww, same old dad. I swear he would wait to have a glass of water together. <laughs> it's so sweet. Besides, I would like to talk to you about yesterday. Oh, your mother's still not back yet, and at this rate, she'll drop to sleep the moment she's home. Oh, I was hoping he wouldn't bring this up yet. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, eat something and then we can talk. So instead of mom giving us a talk, he's gonna give us a talk. He smiles at me reassuringly. 
Sure. I should probably at least hear him out. And so I prepare my breakfast and join him at the table to eat. We have a small, relaxed conversation. I help him out with a few crossword solutions, and he tells me some jokes. And then... <laughs> Alright then, let's talk, sweetie. Oh. Okay, here we go, the talk. Tell me what exactly happened yesterday. Uh... Lie? <laughs> Tell the truth and leave out the part about the phone guy. Say you don't want to talk about it. Um, he's just trying to sincerely, like help us out you know i think i think we should tell him but like obviously leave out the phone guy because that's that's our problem he doesn't need to know about that but like yeah just like just be upright outright yeah just be upfront about it just be like oh like you know the job fair wasn't you know i was looking around and the people that i met and spoke to they weren't they weren't to fit they weren't what i was looking for yeah i'm gonna just say that nothing much really i guess they just didn't have any jobs that seemed like a good fit for me, that's all. Exactly. And there's nothing wrong with that. And... I was right yesterday. I probably shouldn't mention the phone incident to him. Yes. Well, I'm just going to keep looking online, I think. I'm really trying. Yeah, as long as he knows, as long as, yeah. I stare down at my hands. Can I really afford to keep trying? Well, girl, this... You gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes life doesn't work out, and that's just normal. It's hard not to look at the carton of orange juice on the table. It's a very nice carton of orange juice. I had the drink out of it. Ever since I decided to go off to study photography at university, it wasn't hard to notice things. Ah uh, yes, you have the artist, the photographer's eye now. Everything is about you looking at life and things just with compositions in mind and color grading and everything and lighting i get it notice that many of my parents' favorite food brands slowly disappeared one by one. Oh, oh no she's going on about that like how like you know her parents are are budgeting now it would be probably because of her and like paying for her school and tuitions and stuff only to be re to be replaced by cheaper no-name items hey man sometimes the no name items are they're pretty, uh, they're pretty banging too. Or nothing at all. I wonder how long this can go on. It's been years since dad had his favorite orange juice. <laughs> I'm sure... Like, I'm sure it, it might seem like a pretty big deal to you. And it's like something that's gonna guilt trip you the most. But like, I sometimes I guarantee you that like, that kind of small shit doesn't even really bother them. Like, it's not, it's not important in the grand scheme of things. Like, he's not gonna die if he doesn't have his favorite orange juice, you know? But I get it. Have you considered maybe looking into other fields? So, yeah, here we go. You know, just something you could do while you were looking- while you look for photography jobs, maybe? Yeah, it doesn't hurt. Again, like, it doesn't have to be exactly in your field. His words echo my thoughts, but even then... What? I need that time to work on my social media. I can't make it unless I'm dedicated to it. Oh, I can do it. I know I can. I know, sweetie. I know you can. But like, if I just worked a bit harder, worked a bit longer. But sometimes it's, it's not about working harder or longer. Sometimes it's just there's a little bit of luck to it as well too. And that's that's uh, some of the reality checks that a lot of us don't realize it too. Like, don't want to admit to it actually. I could do it, probably. <sighs> he seems to think for a moment before responding. Your mother and I... Oh. Yes. Well, I'll just come out and say it, but we're just a bit concerned that you might be limiting yourself a bit here. He does have a point. Again, like, girl, he's like, girly, at least get a job. Get like a side hustle to make money, at least. And then just keep at it. Just keep at it with your social media stuff. And like finding uh, a job in the field. Don't you think it might be time to let go, at least for now, and look for other options? To let it go, yeah. Let it go, let it go. I, mm, I know. What do I even say to that? He's right, and we both know it. I've been getting nowhere with this. No matter what I try, I just can't seem to dig myself out of this rut. 
All, I, all of my attempts to find work since I was forced to move back in with my parents have failed. And my social media career has been on a downward slope for months now. I probably should have pivoted weeks ago, found a job at a restaurant or store or something. But I just... I just want to give it one more shot before I give up. I'll make peace with it after that, somehow, maybe. Or again, go freelance. Am I selfish if I keep going after my dream? No. They've done so much for me and yet I... I just... I look towards the carton of orange juice once more. Tell you what. Uh, he, pats my he pats me lightly on the shoulder as he gets up from his seat. Just give it some thought for now and we can talk about it some other time. Alright? Uh, sure. Good kid. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> Try to cheer up, sweetie. You know we'll always have your back. I don't get much time to think his words over, however, as dad interrupts once more. For now, though. Oh, what? Yeesh. Look at the time. Yeesh. Yeesh. <laughs> I said yeesh. Yeesh. Look at the time. I've got to run or I'll be late. Yes. Time to go to work. Giving me another pat, he quickly makes a run for the hallway, and soon enough, I hear the door click shut. There he goes. There he goes. Huh. I should start heading to the cafe, too. Maybe the walk there will clear my head. Oh, yeah, we're going to meet up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I totally completely forgot. Getting up from my seat, I clear the table of the rest of the breakfast, grab my jacket and phone, and begin making my way outside. Let's see what he has to say. <laughs> Is he gonna drag us to another gummy store raid trip? I don't know. Here we are. Tulip Cafe. This certainly brings back some memories. It's strange how few people are around it at this time in the morning, especially outside of a prominent cafe. Hmm, maybe not just not rush hour? But there's no point in daydreaming out here. I might as well get this over with. Okay, hello. Ooh, very nice. Hmm, it doesn't look like it's changed much, even after all these years. There's hardly anyone around, so it takes me so it takes mere milliseconds to spot the man I'm looking for. There he is. <laughs> He leans across the, t the counter, apparently engaged in a lively conversation with the barista before the bell announced my arrival. Ah, here she is, and with five minutes to spare. Now that I think about it, with how flashy he looks, it's, he's kind of hard to miss. Yeah, no kidding. So I, I really hope he just- I really hope he doesn't make a scene again. He waves at me to come over, and, as, and I soon close the distance between us. In the presence of company, I try to subtly ask him why I'm here. He decides to unsubtly ignore me and turns back towards the barista instead. What the fuck, man? <laughs> All right, now I'm ready to order. <laughs> what? Uh, let's see then. I'll have a cafe mocha with double the espresso, extra foam, a shot of vanilla, white chocolate shavings, and caramel drizzle on top. Wow, that's a, that sounds very sweet. Oh my god. No, wait. He seems to seriously study the chalkboard behind the barista. Make that whipped cream on top with caramel drizzle, please. Oh, and he gestures to me and smiles widely. She's paying. Uh, I guess, I mean, I guess I do owe it to him. I do owe him that. I'm, what? I don't remember him mentioning this. Well, I guess he didn't actually mention anything, really. And it's just coffee, so it's not that big of a deal, but... You know, a heads up, but whatever. There's a moment of silence as a barista seems to note my hesitation. I look up at the man beside me, but he just smiles from where he's propped up against the counter. Ugh, he clearly didn't mention this on purpose. With the order already entered, it seems like I have no choice, unless we cause a scene, so I just silently pull out my wallet. I carefully remove the $5.25 needed and place it onto the counter to be processed. Can I also have a name for the order? A name? Well, it is his order of coffee-flavored sugar, so I know. And oh no no, he doesn't want to give his he doesn't want to give his uh, his his government name, you know, because uh, he's an influencer. Don't want to get recognized. Uh, wait, he never actually gave me his real name either, and I only really know his online handle. Oh, ah yeah. Is Hen really actually his name, or is it just like a short, like a, a nickname? Like, or like a, again, like a short, a short 
form of his actual name. He can't be expecting me to say that embarrassing name out loud, can he? I look up at him searchingly. Uh, searchingly? Searchingly? Sorry, why did I say it like that? But all that awaits me is another one of those expectant smiles. You no good. He clearly knows what's going on here and he isn't even going to help. If it didn't look weird, I would dig through his social right now. His name... I would literally dig through his social right now. His name is probably on there. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Let's just stick with Hen. Just go along with it. You do owe him. Give him. Give your own name instead. I mean, I'm technically paying for it too, but like, tech, but it's his drink, so I don't... Just stick with Hen. I might not know his actual name, but maybe I can pass his... I can pass his username off as a nickname? Yes. You can just put the name down as Hen. The barista slowly tilts its head. His eyes look over- look me over beneath furrowed brows. I'm sorry, did you say Hen? What's with that weird look? Yes? Spelt like the name of a chicken? That? Hen? Yes. He, it belatedly hits me. Referring to people by a nickname of their online handle can still yield questionable results. <laughs> okay, play it cool, Hana. Just double down with full confidence. Exactly, Just you just gotta go with it. Just a yes. Exactly that. Ah, yes. Like the chicken. <laughs> Listen, this is your name, not mine, okay? I'm just going off of what I know. The snort draws both of our attentions, and now the barista's look... Barista's look has morphed into one of concern instead. That's not a good look. Why are you laughing? It's your username. You're the one who's calling. You're the one he he's calling a chicken. Exactly. Look, if you're trying to play a prank on me, no. Look, you could just put down. Just I wouldn't even question it, honestly. Hendrick. Oh. He cuts me off sharply. Oh yeah. No, I think we heard his name before, right? Hendrick. That sounds familiar. Like from the last time we did his route. Huh? Or just Hen is fine. Hendrick, got it. Okay, looking up, I find Hen winking at me. Why were you laughing if it was your actual name all along? That was so embarrassing. It's okay, he doesn't take himself seriously, which is, uh, you know, whatever. Oh, so yeah, if, you're, if you were given that name, it's like, oh, well, whatever. <laughs> whatever, unless you want to go change it. But then uh, he seems to not really care. <laughs> I'll get back. I'll get you back for this. Just you wait. Ugh, who am I kidding? I'm not in a position to be doing that, and we both know it. I just... Ah, I would just be whatever. I just... Whatever, just leave it. Girl, it's not that serious. Wishing I could fade away, I let the scene pass. The barista goes about preparing the coffee, while Hen appears incredibly pleased with himself. I mean, I've heard more unfortunate names, okay? This is, this is the least fortunate. This is like the least unfortunate, I would say. The both of us mill around quietly on this side on this side of the counter. I don't know how much more I can handle after this little adventure. Luckily, it's not a long wait. Okay. Order for Hendrick? Yes. Get your stupid cappuccino frappuccino thing. It's a redundant sentiment considering the fact we're the only ones there, but it signals a possible end to my suffering. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. Go. <laughs> He slides something over to the barista, words muttered so low that I can't hear, before pointedly jutting his chin at me and heading outside. Ha! <laughs> Seriously, this guy. Putting away the wallet, I only now realize I've been clasping like with with a vice grip with a vice like grip, I look to the barista. Um, yes, thank you. Okay, bye. The shaky thank you is the best I could offer before I turn to quickly catch up to Hen outside. Complain about what just happened, calmly ask him what's happening now. I'm just gonna ask him what's happening now. So like, now what? I got you a coffee that I never really agreed to pay for, but you know, why, who am I to say no? There he is. Now I just have to try my best to forget what just happened. So, what's happening now? What do you want to talk about? Why are we here? Hmm? Well, you didn't just call me here so I could buy you a coffee, right? I'm pretty sure. Maybe he did. Why not? Why not? Well, uh, is he trying to mess with me by deliberately acting dumb or something? Oh, there's no way he actually called me here just to buy him a coffee, right? 
Forget it. That isn't the important part here. You said that phone was worth, like, $5,000 or something, right? I did. He doesn't even bother to elaborate further. So, this can't possibly be enough for me to be let off the hook, right? I didn't say anything about you letting- I didn't say anything about you being let off the hook. Oh, okay. I just really wanted a coffee this morning. But you see, it's just uh, such a pain to have to go through all that effort to get the money out of my wallet. <laughs> oh my god. Every word is dripping with unnecessary amount of dramatics. No kidding. I can already feel my hand cramping up since you so savagely tore my beautiful $5,000 phone from them. Oh my, can you? What if it gets worse? Hands are the second most visible part of the body and the dorsal side is a marker of physical attractiveness and biological quality in men. My career would be ruined if they got damaged. Are you like a hand model then? Jeez. He holds up his hands as though it were injured. He's very dramatic, this one. So basically, he's just being petty. <laughs> I mean... Well... Hen clasped his very precious hands together before I can even finish my thought. If you don't mind, I've gotta get going now. Huh? Going? Now? Well, see ya. Oh, see ya? Okay, no wait. I stand around uncertain for a moment, watching him disappear around the corner. And he's gone. Well, that was abrupt. Uh, I'm still not entirely sure what just happened. He didn't even bother discussing the phone with me in the end. Wait, didn't he also say something about me still not being off the hook? Don't tell me he has more in mind. Oh my god, it's only 8.30 and I already have a headache. <laughs> on the bright side, I guess he's not a bad connection to have. Even if we're on bad terms, I might still be able to get something out of this. But for now, I need to de-stress. De Slowly turning, I begin walking in the direction of home. Only to find myself hopelessly, help, hopelessly lost in thought. And before I know it, I find that instead of home, I f my feet have carried me to the park. Oh, is this where we also- we, can we run into- to Fane? Because like, I was just- I just had a thought in mind where like, we had this little adventure meet up with- with Hen. And I, I was just thinking like, oh, have I unintentionally been- <laughs> have I unintentionally gone down the route of like, talking to Hen more again instead of with Thane like we, we said we would do here. So yeah. The scenery here has always been so picturesque and peaceful, and, this, and despite the overcast sky, it's hard to not want to take pictures. I didn't get a clear look at the place with all the craziness yes all the craziness yesterday. It looks so small compared to when I was a kid. I used to play with the local dogs or even feed the ducks if I wasn't taking pictures. Oh wait, can we skip this? Wait, am I allowed to see taking pictures? I feel like we can. I feel like we might run into uh, Kim here. Hold on. Oh. Oh wait, so yeah, okay, never mind. I tried, and so that last dialogue was like, okay, she's fiddling around with her phone. I guess it couldn't hurt just to take a few pictures since I'm already here. I could always make a good social media post. Pulling out my phone, I begin to look around for a good subject. Oh wait, no, we can... Oh, well... We can, let's... We did the, we did the animal last time. Okay, let's take flowers in nature. Crouching down, I lean over the tiny speckle of flowers. Click. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it looks like a looks like a very impressionistic painting. Yeah, this looks a lot better without flash. Staring at my phone screen intently, I try to find a good angle to position myself without crushing the flowers below. No, standing here is blocking the light, but maybe Wait, this is I pause for a moment. This is just like that shot I saw on Fane's profile. Ah. If I just turn up the exposure or maybe widen the aperture a bit. Click, okay. Oh, okay. There we go, not bad at all. Okay, so indeed the photo I've taken looks strikingly similar to the one I saw on Fane's profile. Yes, the strange singular viral post that still confuses me. Is this really okay? Okay, well at least we have a, um, our inspiration now is directly coming from Fane. Um, as I look at the image on the screen and wonder if I haven't ended up copying the style of that photo a bit too closely. Okay, so I think we can, yeah. It's the same dialogue, except this time her inspiration is more close to what she saw on Fane's profile instead of on the, um, that art, art, what is it called? That art student exhibition. So yeah, we can skip this. Okay, new dialogue. 
So we fiddled with the stuff, uh, the photo, and then we kind of got it to look more like, kind of like Fane's style. So this must be how Fane felt yesterday. What? Is this my karma for that? What? Oh, hey, it's Kim. Okay, we can skip out on that. Or maybe I should, um, I'm going to probably leave it here. And then the next time we can pick it up, we pick up more afterwards. And then if it turns out to be too short of an episode for the next time in terms of you know, finding out new, more new content and more fame related stuff. I can just, we can always take that time to like play around and jump around a bit with the answers. But yeah, for now, I feel like we can, we can leave it here. And then the next time we come back to this, you'll probably see it like skipped over and we'll probably be at a place where it's like new content. Because otherwise, pretty much th this is going to play out the same way the first time. So yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for all your patience once again. I hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play. Or Let's Play demo, at least. So that means maybe we can look forward to act the, you know, the actual game when it comes out. We'll keep that in the back of our heads, back of our minds. But yeah, for now, um, I will leave it here. And... Um, I would suggest subscribing and liking the video maybe or at least subscribing because uh, just to reiterate like I always do I'm on a semi hiatus for my channel only because I uh, don't know when I get time to do uploads and episodes for you guys so some weeks th there will be no uploads other times and then maybe once or twice or even three times uh, I'll skip weeks just because again, I don't have the time just due to scheduling work stuff, real life stuff. So yeah, the surest way to know when's the next time I'm going to upload is to just subscribe to my channel and you get to turn on the notification bell and yeah, and you'll be good. Um, otherwise, I am still active in terms of just like if you shoot me messages or comments regarding any of the Let's Play videos, then I will do my best to answer them. Yeah. Um other than that other than that thank you once again for your patience and understanding and i hope to see you guys in another let's play or another episode uh wherever that might be but for now bye